Hi folks, John Kitts here, playing Sail Away, the sailing simulator. So, uh, the last time, which was all of yesterday, we played this game, we were, if you follow the mouse here on my map, we were here at heading in that direction. But for some reason, um, it turned around completely and headed back and ran aground over there. It's, I assume it ran ground. I didn't check my email. Probably did. And also the wind was completely opposite, going in the opposite direction. So I don't know what all that adds up to, but rather strange. So now we have to sail our way back. Um, I can't sail directly to this spot because I'd be heading straight into the wind. I'd be heading irons and not a heck of a lot going on. And I can't tack further inland because I'd probably hit some land there. So I'm just going to stay this course and pull out through here and then head back in this direction. So, um, if you recall, the uh, wind, as I said, was in the opposite direction, and we had the Jenniker up, and still do, actually, uh, because it catches the wind when you're down, uh, when it's from your stern. So, what I want to do now is exchange that for the Genoa, and that'll give me more speed, I assume into the wind here. So, uh, by the way, uh, if you've watched my welcome video, you know that I created this channel specifically for senior people. So if you're a senior people, please do leave a comment. And if you know any senior people, tell them to drop by, because that's what this is all about. Let them uh, leave a message about the game or about uh, their gaming experience in general, or about YouTube in general. So, uh, yeah, just uh, even if you are not a senior, if you're somehow marginalized and so because of your gender choice or sexual orientation or whatever, um, there's, this is the place to come and hang out. And uh, Hopefully you will, when you're here, click the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. Most importantly, uh, leave a comment. So, as I say, we have to lower, first of all, lower the Jenniker. So hitting the Q and R keys, or Q and E keys, until I find, uh, right, the Jenniker sheet. That's what I want, isn't it? So, no, I don't. I want the Jenniker... Um, Gen Jenniker Halyard. So we are going to lower that. I'm uh, scrolling with my center mouse wheel here, bringing the Jenniker down, and just by itself, the means of doing nothing but it just sailing, it increased my speed. So now I'm up around over, well, almost three knots. Actually, it's slowing down again. So what we want to do next is find the halyard for uh, the Genoa right there. So we bring the Genoa up. Again, scrolling with the centermost wheel. speed is definitely picked up. Uh, okay, now let's go to trim and see what the Genoa has to offer. The Genoa sheet is too loose. So first of all, Genoa sheet right here is too loose. So we want to tighten it. Okay, I get rid of that. We 
couple things there. Okay. Um, the curve of the generator is too far back. Try to pull the halyard or the backstay. So let's find Genoa halyard again. You want to make that even higher than. Okay, let's try the backstay instead. The backstay. Possibility of pulling that, so we want it tighter. It seems to me that would be affecting the meat uh, as well. Uh, and I don't have any. Every time I try to use these barber hollers, um, I have very little success with those. So, trying. You can see the curves here. adjusting the main too, so I don't want to do this too much. So let's try the halyard again. Okay, get pulling on that, it's up to 110 now. Don't exactly know what that means. Okay, let's just leave that there for now, go back to the main saloon. Is try to pull them. Uh, the main is too loose. Try to pull it or the traveler windward. Seems to me the main sheet is already quite strong. So let's try pulling the traveler. And that seemed to have a positive effect. See it's being pulled, so that would pull on that, which would tighten the mains, the mainsail somewhat. And so we're up to 5.4 knots, so that's not bad. Let's see what we can do with the Cunningham. Pull the Cunningham. Okay, so that's that. It's also been flashing this um, suggestion that I reef the sail, but I was up reefing well, when we did the tutorial yesterday. I just reef the mainsail. Uh, by reefing the mainsail, you lower the amount of space that the wind is taking up. So it would also, uh, I would think, slow it down a bit. Um, told me to work the cutting in some more. So I'm not sure why we should reef the mainsail. Anyway, let well, everything's going off here. Uh, did the wind change again? I didn't even notice, but it seems to me it has a little bit. Sure. But anyway, uh, we'll let that go as is. And now, back to the, well, everything seems to be going off here. Top of the mainsail is too far open. Try to pull the bang of the traveler. Uh, the mainsail is too round. Try to pull the oat hull. Something's changed. We're pulling the oat hull. Okay. Now let's go for the Cunningham. Okay, I took care of that. Now, pull the vang or ease the traveler. 
Sideways barber hauler in that little island there uh, somehow raises it and lowers it. Not quite sure how. Try to pull. Okay, the top of the foresail is too far open. Try to pull it. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, it's upwards. Pulling that, we increase it. Maybe you see it moving or not yet, so a bit. Okay, that seemed to have an effect up there. And now we want to go to the sideways. So let's try to pull that. doesn't make it. I should have gone the other way, shouldn't I? Because if you want to ease the sheet, pulling that in is going to ease it more. So let's, let's um, pull it. Go the wrong way. Let's go the other way. Now the general is too loose. So, I guess that loosens it somehow. I got it backwards somehow. So we have to uh, pull the sideways one in. So let's try tightening the genoa even further. don't understand the mechanism there. So if somebody would enlighten me, I would much appreciate it. But those are our two thingies. Everything's fine. Let's look at the map. Or the map here. And you see it's going to be a while before we actually get back on course and then we turn further into the wind. So, while we're doing that, let's uh, hit the escape key, go to activities, go to tutorials. Now, we went through sail type and we planned our um, voyages last time, so let's try naming the lines. Okay. Um, Um, try to get to a spot where it's not so crazy. Um, let's get right back in the helm here. Okay, um, names of sails. It is assumed in this tutorial that you already know the names of the various sails.
If not, let's run through that tutorial. Also, don't worry about the purpose of some of the lines yet. We will cover those in another tutorial. Okay, everything starts with the line that is used to raise the sail. That's the halyard. It runs through a block in the top of the mast and pulls the sail up. So it's up there. Multiple halyards. Since a boat often has more than one sail, it also has more than one halyard. These are the main halyard, the Genoa halyard, the jib, the Jenniker, etc. The Genoa furler. Often the Genoa can be rolled up at the front. In that case, there is a line that can be used to wind or unwind it. This is indicated as Genoa furl. That's how close we can get here. That would be the Genoa furl up and down that line. If the bow is equipped with it, of course, I don't see any fancy roller or anything up there to furl. Um, it's not going to let me. What we have is Genoa sheet. see if a furl. So I don't think we have one on this boat. If we simply raise the sails and with the halyard they could they would uselessly wave like a flag. So there's an extra line that pulls the sail toward the center of the boat. This is called the sheet. Which is I'm assuming yes that line there will be a line that pulls on that, which tightens that line there. Yeah, I guess there isn't really a line that goes up there. No, right, that would be, yeah, I'm thinking it's, you would just pull on that area there and that would tighten it, I'm guessing. Multiple sheets. The sheet is the most important line. You adjust it very often to match the angle of the sail to the wind. All sails have sheets. The main sole, the Genoa, the jib, the Jenniger, and so on. The bottom of the main sole is attached to the boon. There is a line that pulls this bottom of the sail tight toward the back of the boon. This is called the out hall. that would pull the sail, I guess, toward the boom, or the end of the boom. There's a line that pulls this bottom of the sail tight toward the back of the boom. So there's a line here that's called the oath hall. I don't see it. You probably won't be able to see it. 
but that's called the out hole. Okay. The vein from the bottom of the mass to the boom, which is this thing here, turns um, runs a diagonal line that pulls the boom down. This is called the vein. Okay, by adjusting that, pulls the boom 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 down. Okay, the Cunningham. The mainsail often has a line that pulls the bottom corner near the mast downward. The mainsail often has a line that pulls the bottom corner near the mast downward. Okay, so it's connected to the mainsail, which I guess is one of these lines here. Um, one of these is called Cunningham. So, part of this is the vein which will pull the mass down. There's also a Cunningham in here. Traveler, that's back over here again. Okay, that's the Traveler in this case. Uh, the point where the main sheet block is mounted on the boat often runs on a rail. The car on this rail can be pulled toward the wind side of the boat. This line indicated is indicated as a traveler, so we can pull the traveler back and forth, which we've done already today to try to tighten up the sheet. Now, lead car, the Genoa sheet or jib sheet. Uh, runs from the sail to a point on the boat. This point is again attached to a rail and can be moved forward and backward. This line is indicated as a Genoa lead car or lead car or Jeb lead car. Which I don't think we have, well, it's not there. Maybe this is what we're talking about. There's one on each side. So that was the barber hauler. In this case, or maybe there's another one, not sure. Backstay. The final line we discussed runs from the mast down the back of the boat. This is the backstay. That's the backstay back there. running up so there's one line on either side in this case both of them are adjusted okay and that's it we hope you can remember all of these names but if you can't don't worry the game will help you where it can okay let's go back and see how we're doing Hardly moving at all, apparently. We've got 5.2 and 22 knots. So let's look at trim. You want us to reef, which would reduce the trim. I'm not sure. And I, I, the main problem that I have with reefing the sail in any way is that means. You can't use the Cunningham 
or the out hall because once it's reefed you can't use either of those two lines so I kind of hesitate on that Genoa okay here we go again Genoa is too tight try to ease it until the telltales are how are the telltales on the paints over here not too bad that's as straight up as I can look okay let's hop over here and you can see these are not so good so the Genoa is too tight so let's pit E and look for Genoa sheet that's too tight it's already at 100 percent Okay, the last time was that Barbara Holler again, it's all the way in or pretty close to it. number and it made its effect on that so let's go all the way down that helped a little bit so now let's go to the Genoa sheet what happens if we now loosen the Genoa sheet bit and sideways barber hard direction. Take it all the way off. Now that's kind of tingling a bit. Let's bring it back some. So we get a little bit of a boost. So we're up to 5.9. It still wants us to go to the reef and it's going so very slowly. I don't think it hasn't moved at all. So that's a little but that distance there is no that distance there. Yeah, same one here. This distance here is about two nautical miles. I would have thought we traveled that distance. Let's say two, four, six, roughly eight or nine nautical miles back to the course line. So we got a ways to go. Okay, so. Uh, here we are once again running out of time so uh, you know what to do you want to hit the thumbs up button when the subscribe button or and and or subscribe button and uh, if you want to leave a comment please do let me know what your gaming experience is or what I did wrong in this uh, in playing this game so fill me in so until next time please do take care